everyone. Let's have a quick demo of this uh, Lab02. Inside the Lab02, we need to download four programs Quick Hash Dash GUI, Quick Tour 2 AS Encrypt, and uh, GPG for Win. Uh, please pay attention for the GPG for Win. We need version 3.1.14. For this quick hash, the download, you can choose your version. Here you can see a uh, Windows. Here, download this uh, Windows version 3.2. And its uh, hash code is here. You can see SHA1, the SHA1 hash code for the zip file. And, uh, Short file six. Now this archive file. All the files I download and I saved in my lab zero two folder. Here is my lab zero two folder. The quick hash. This archive. After I extract into this folder, you can see uh, the execute file is here quick hash. Now you can uh, choose a file and uh, calculate with the hash code of this archive file. Yeah, .zip. Only show one. This is a show one code. You compare with this show one. show one and the zip file the hash code show one hash code is here you can see these two hash codes they match so for the next hash code 256 again in the hash GUI you choose a uh, short Two five six, then compare this hash code against this uh, official hash code. You can also see the match, which means the archive integrity is good. So you can follow the same way to calculate the hash code of any uh, downloaded programs. First, you select the program, then choose the hash algorithm. For this uh, crypt, crypto tool, here you scroll down, download this uh, crypto tool. Click download. Come here. You can download this exe file. Then install it with all default option. After its installation, here it's installed here. And it's a hash code, show two file six and show file one two. You use the way I demonstrated to find these two hash code and compare with the official hash code. So this is a crypto two. For this AES script. AES script download the Windows version here in uh, download scroll down see the download come here choose your Windows 64 bit and you see the zip file I all saved them here this is the AES script this is the Crypto two, the setup file. Now it's where is the hash code of this uh, AS script? You scroll down this web page to the bottom. Here you see all files post on this site are hashed, and the hash file is assigned with this NoPG with the key ID. 
click here to see the complete list of downloads and associated hash values. So right click, open a new tab. Now you try to find that uh, hash code here. This is hash SHA-256. Find the file you downloaded. The file I downloaded is this uh, This file you can right click rename so you can copy the file name ctrl c and come here to ctrl f ctrl v then you see it's right here so you need to use your quick hash to find the hash code of this archive and compare with the official hash code. This hash code is SH-256 on the top. You can see it's SH-256. Now the last tool, after you in installed this uh, AAS script, the result is a pop-up menu in your contacts menu, for example, I right click this AS script, you will see a pop up menu called AES encrypt. So, if you see this, you installed this AES script successfully. You just uh, click this uh, MSI to install your AES script or this uh, setup. Just choose one of them. Now, the last one. This no, uh, this GPG for win. Uh, please use uh, this uh, version 3.1.14. I today I downloaded the load latest version. The latest version is uh, 3.1.15. And uh, when you run it, you will see some error like this. You cannot run it as administrator, then you need to create a normal user to use it. For simplicity, I would like to use an uh, older version, 3.1.14, so I need to uh, uninstall this program. So I can choose Add, Search Add, or Remove Programs. Now find that uh, GPG for Win. Here is that GPG for Win. Click it, uninstall it. Okay, it's uninstalled. Where could we find the older version? Here, you see there is an older. Click it, come here to see this uh, download. And come back again to this. Uh, latest version. Let's scroll down to find the older versions here. See all downloads. Right click, open this one. Now you see all the versions available. 3.1.14 We want to find that exe file. Scroll down. Here it is, 3.1.14 EXE, so we right click, save the link as, and our lab 02. We also want to save the hash code, so link as, and save this uh, signature. Okay, how do we verify the signature as the lab described here? We also need to find uh, the file distribution key. Here in the file distribution key, we can find from check signatures. 
Yeah, there's a signature of this latest one. All versions open PHP signature, those other signatures. Let's open this wild file. Okay, in this wild file, we will use the GPG key here. Scroll down. You find the previous public key used up to this year. So this key, right click, save it as. Okay, also and our lab zero two, save it there. Now we go inside and install this chip G for Win. Choose all default options. Ask more to reboot. Okay, we need to reboot it. Now let's uh, see whether we can run it. Okay, now you see this time it worked. Okay, we can continue our lab. We wanted to know how to use quick hash to check the integrity. And for this GPG uh, 4 win, this version, we saved the hash code here. the hash code you can right click and open with uh, code or with any text editor here you see this uh, hash code short 256 so you can compare this hash official hash code with the hash code generated with a uh, quick hash So with quick hash, you know how to check their integrity. Step one is done. Step two, we download them and install them and also check their integrity. Now encrypt tool two, encrypt decrypt message with C the cipher. Okay, we can choose the template about Caesar Cipher. Here are several templates for Caesar Cipher. We choose this one, double click to open. And right, now you see uh, we can encrypt this message through this Caesar Cipher to generate output here. There's a text output. This is the cipher 
needs two input. One is the plain text message here. The other one is the alphabet. It's the English alphabet. And this part is the encryption. Encrypt. And the key for this cipher by default is 23. Now we set it up. We can click play to run the encryption. All right, you see the output. This is the cipher text. You can control C to save in a notepad. And we paste here. This is the cipher text. Now, if we want to decrypt this cipher text, just stop it. Change this one to decrypt. And also, we need to change this input text to the cipher text here. The cipher text. Now we run it to decrypt. We should get the original plain text, but we, we need to decrypt with the same key, 23. Now let's play it. And you see the plain text. The quick uh, brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So that's it. Encrypt then decrypt message with the Caesar cipher. Again, inside Crypto 2, encrypt then decrypt a, a file. Choose your own file with AES cipher. So we can create a file inside our, uh, inside our lab tool. We create a text file and a create message uh, one. Let's say this is a secret message and save it. So we have a print text file. Now, how do we use crypto to encrypt a file? Again, we can uh, choose from this uh, template, type AES. Here, you can see some template for AES. We have uh, AES uh, with file input. So we choose this one with file input. Double click. Uh, here you see uh, with this AES cipher, we have an input file and a raw key. This raw key goes through this string decode, decoded as hex number. So when you move your mouse over here, you see it's a key. And this one is a input data. So we need to supply the input data. Double click. You see there are some uh, data over there. We open a new file, open our message file, message1.txt. Okay, this is our message. It shows as uh, hex numbers. This is the text. Okay, we supplied our input file. We want to check the setting for this AES cipher. This AES cipher you see, you can choose the option, the action. Now it's uh, encrypt. The key size is 128 bits or 32 characters. And the chain mode, let's choose this ECB mode. You can choose uh, other mode if you want. And uh, zero patterns. Again, you can choose other pattern modes. You will learn all this stuff in ITS uh, 350. Currently, we just w want you to have an overview about AES cipher. Uh, this the uh, encrypt. We want to save the output here. It will show them as a uh, text. 
we want to save it as a file type uh, file here see the file output and drop here we want to save the output click hold your mouse and move it now the output will be output to this text output to see what it is and also save it here we need to uh, Open it here in this uh, settings. The target file name we want to uh, save into a file. Here, click save file. Again, save inside a uh, lab 02. We call it a cipher text 1. And you see the target file name is filled here. We want to uh, put all the content in the new file, so we don't want to choose append. Like the setup is good. You can change the key to any other number by yourself, but make sure it's uh, 32 characters or 128 bits. So now let, let's run this uh, diagram. Here you see here we have some uh, output, the text output. Actually they show the hex numbers. And you see a uh, self text one is generated. Okay now let's uh, stop this one. We want to compare the saved uh, self text is uh, has the contents as this uh, text output. Now we need another tool, a hex editor. We use this hex editor called HXD. I have installed this one. Here, this is HXD. You can download from internet. Type HXD, then go to download. Choose the version suitable to your system. For example, mine, I chose this one. English download from this place and save it in my uh, lab 02 and see this HXD uh, setup. You unzip and install it. Here you can see you open with uh, this archive. It's a setup file. So you can set up. Okay, now I use this one to open the self text file just uh, drag and a drop here you can compare the contents here against the contents here you see the they are the same Right, 90, 90. The last one B, B, A. So they are the same. So this is the self text. Now, how do we do the decryption? To do the decryption, the file now this we need to change we because this is a symmetric cipher, which means we use the same key and the same configuration of this AES but this time we want to decrypt so choose decrypt all other settings are identical as uh, encryption but this input the input we need to uh, choose the self text open the self text Open it here. Now you see the subtext is uh, loaded. And uh, the output file save. We saved to uh, give it a name. Now this name, this time we call it decrypt1. Decrypt1. 
dot txt okay you just change it to decrypt one dot txt the setting is good we change the input file to subtext and save this output file to decrypt now let's run it okay it's done but here you see a uh, you see the hex digits so we don't know what it is since it's the same as the code saved the data saved in our uh, decrypt so we can open this decrypt to see what it is right you see it is this is a secret message but we have some extra stuff here these are the extra stuff 0000, zero, 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 zero because we use a uh, zero padding and in this decryption these zeros are not removed and you will learn more in IDS uh, 350 so this is how do we uh, encrypt and decrypt a file with AES cipher now this one use AES script to encrypt and decrypt a file let's close this stuff okay now I create a, a message tool just control C and control V let's call it remain message tool so message tool contains the same content as message one right click message tool you can use this AES encrypt supply a password any password you want and I click OK now you see the generate uh, file called message to .txt .as. so this is an encrypted file you should open it with this uh, hex editor You will see there are lots of stuff. So it's different from our subtext. We use this uh, crypt tool where right? we have so many contents. This is because in this uh, AES script, its a uh, result file has a format. You can check this AES file format. You can see it contains lots of extra stuff is a header part and that encrypted data start here the encrypted message on this uh, part or others some uh, extra metadata uh, explanation about the subtext and uh, some others for example in encrypted initial vector and the AES key you can check uh, the source code of this AES script it's a uh, work mode is not as we demonstrated now let's uh, decrypt this one here we decrypt message tool but when we decrypt it will generate uh, a file with the same name as message tool which means this message tool will be uh, overwritten so how could we avoid that let's just rename this one as message to original then decrypt this one here choose AES decrypt supply the password when you encrypt it okay you see a message tool is generated this is a decrypted message you open it you see this is a secret message so that looks uh, nice so we, we complete this part use AES to encrypt then decrypt your file okay go to step 3 use our uh, clear picture we've already installed it and checked its integrity 
Now create a pair of RSA kits, one pair for you, two pairs, the other for virtual lab partner. Okay, insert this. We are uh, new key pair. The name, you use your full name. I type instruct here. Email optional, so I will not provide it. Email. There are some advanced uh, settings. We use RSA algorithm and so many bits. You can change its length. Let's change it, use a shorter length. And it can be used for signing, encryption, and so on. Okay, let's click on OK. For other options, you will learn in IDS uh, 350. Now click uh, Next and uh, create. You can choose a password to protect your key. And uh, here it says we entered an insecure password. For demonstration, we just uh, leave it like this. Maybe uh, we make this a little bit stronger. For demonstration, it's OK. You, you use a shorter key. OK, with eight characters. Now, it take a little bit time create this key with this uh, think printer and now you see I have a key here now let's generate an another pair for a virtual partner we right click uh, in this file new key pair create a personal open PHP key pair name Let's call it uh, Mike. Again, I chose uh, the smallest key size here. Click Next, Create, Password. Let's choose a simple password and leave it as. Take this one anyway. Okay, now we have. Uh, Tokis, one for me, the other for Mike. Next step, import this uh, intervention file distribution key. When we download this uh, GPG for when we download that key as well. It's a public key here. You can find uh, it's, uh, this. Uh, Intervention distribution key. Okay, let's uh, import it here. Import. Go to our lab zero two. Import this uh, key and I click yes. You may read this one to confirm you know this guy. Click yes, and we certify it. In order to certify it, you need to type your password, which means you trust this public key. Okay, my password for Mike. Okay, it's uh, certified. Now we import this key. We can use this public key to verify the signature against this uh, downloaded uh, GPG for Win or Cal file. How do we verify it? The signature is. Uh, Here, you can right click, use uh, decrypt and verify. Here, more operations, just verify.
because it's not encrypted. Okay, you can see the result. Valid signature by this. So it's a valid. It's a valid signature. Which means the hash code is good and this exe file is good. Another way to check is the signature. Right click in this property. Yeah, you can see the digital signatures. There's a hash code. To check the detail, you can see uh, the information here. And the subject, you find the subject here in this real certificate. In the, it's issued to this intervention company. And you will learn more about digital certificate, how to request a digital certificate, how to verify digital certificate, revoke digital certificate, and so on in IDS uh, 350. In this course, you just need, need to have a feeling about digital signature and verification. So we verified that a signature is valid. Now let's sign an encrypted image for your virtual lab partner. Then you act as your virtual partner to decrypt and verify this sign and encrypted image. So you can work inside here. You choose Mac, then click sign and encrypt the file. Or you can go in this uh, Folder, for example, I downloaded the image called cover.jpg. It's a space x uh, dragon ship. You can right click, choose sign and encrypt. Yeah, let's choose sign and encrypt, or you go inside here, sign and encrypt. Now, which user you want to use? You want to sign as yourself and encrypt it for your partner, this virtual partner. And the output we saved in the same folder, but it has a extension called GPG. Okay, now let's sign and encrypt. Sign with your private key and encrypt with your partner's public key. You need to uh, supply your password if you want to sign anything. Okay, now see uh, sign encryption succeeded. Okay, that uh, file is here. This is an uh, encrypted, signed and encrypted file. Now, the receiver, Michael, can decrypt and verify my signature. Mac use his uh, private key to decrypt this file and use my public key to verify it. Here, Mac, in order to decrypt, he need to supply his uh, private key because his private key is protected with the password. So he need to type the password, type his password. And now you see it says what is the signature by instructor and uh, you can s save it but now the name we don't want to overwrite the original one right we can rename the original one here we name it the cover original Here in that cell, now you choose overwrite it. Is okay because that file is renamed. Now you come here. We have a cover 
So let's see what is that that one. Refresh. Here this is cover original. So when I decrypt because uh, that one is gone, so it uh, when you choose the overwrite, it does not show up. So we we can redo it. Decrypt and Wi-Fi. Okay, it's uh, decrypt. Now this time it uh, didn't ask me for the password. It looks like the password is uh, saved in the memory. Okay, this is a decrypt uh, image. You can see the decrypt image is identical to the original image. You can use a file comparable to compare, they are exactly the same. So we completed uh, this step. Now for step 4, download image online used as a cover image, I already have one, so you will download an, please download an image different from mine. Then go to this stack online, hide a message in the image downloaded. Here first I upload image, upload this cover image. Okay, this image I want to embed some file here, embed files and data or data. You can uh, browse BitPlay of this image to see where you want to uh, hide your data. Here you see the red zero. In the color channel, the red channel, bit zero. This is what bit zero it looks like. Mainly there are noises. Red one still looks like a noise. Go to uh, oops, green green one. Let's come to a uh, red seven here. You see those uh, higher bit shows. The outline of this image, which means it capture main capture the main character of the image, the habit. So if you save your embed your message in the habit, this image will be de distorted. So we usually save in those uh, lower bits, for example, bit zero. Right now, let's embed files and the data. We embed in bit zero of these three uh, color channel. You can uh, choose a, a secret message typed here, or you choose a file here. Click this place. Choose a file. Let's choose a message. Here we have a message one. We want to embed this message one or hide this message one in that cover image. Inside, it's a uh, bit zero of those four or uh, three color channel. Click go. Okay, now it's done. The output. Use the save image button to download this uh, image. But we didn't see that uh, there is a cell image, so you will see download extracted data. So it's a typo in this website. It should be a cell image. Right now we saved as a stagger. And this stagger image, it had, it hide message one dot txt inside it but when you have a look on it the stagger with the naked eyes we cannot tell this one 
from its original one. If you send this one to your friend, then your friend can extract that secret message. This is a way how to conceal your secrets. Okay, the next step. Use this uh, stack online again to extract the message. So we can go to his home page. Upload. Now this time we upload this stack. Oops. Okay, it's uh, uploaded. This time we extract files and the data. And we know we embed the file in this uh, bit zero. Okay, click go. Okay, we get the result. And you see this result. This is a secret message. This is what we have inside our message one dot txt file, but we have lots of garbage. Why do we have this garbage? This is because all those bit zero are extracted, but to hide this short message, we don't need all of those uh, all those bit zero. Actually, here the result only show the first. 2500 bytes. The larger the image is, the more information you can hide. Here now we can uh, download the extracted uh, data. Here we call it stagger.txt. Okay, it's downloaded. If you open it, stack.txt you see the secret message is here but all others there are garbages you may wonder how many garbages are here you can actually we can calculate first we need to find the size of the image or the resolution of this image here this image when you check the details this is dimension or uh, how many pixels totally do we have so we have so many uh, pixels and each pixel we have three byte so we can use the calculate to calculate if we only use the lowest bit how many what's the capacity We can use to uh, hide secret. One, two, eight, zero times seven to zero. We have so many pixels, each pixel three byte. So we have so many uh, bytes, and each byte contribute one bit. So we can divide this one by eight. Divide by eight. So this is uh, the number of bytes we could use to hide our information. It's quite a large number. Now, if we, we check this uh, stack.txt to have a look to see what its size it, it is. Property, we check the size. 345600 is uh, exactly this number. So that's it. 
So this is a uh, step four I completed. Now for the review questions, can the encrypt file with AES cipher encrypt to be decrypted by AES script or vice versa? As we just uh, saw, the AES cipher encrypt encrypt to, to the door cipher text, but this AES script it generate a file with uh, architectures, so which means they cannot be uh, decrypted directly. We need to extract those uh, lower ciphertext from the encrypted file encrypted with this AES uh, uh, crypt to decrypt with this uh, AES cipher encrypt to a tool. But also, we, we need to know the raw key. When you check the file format of this AES script here, you need the initial vect and this AES key, but they are all encrypted with the password. So we need to check the source code, how to decrypt this IV and this AES key. With that deep, uh, decrypted AES key, also we still need what uh, mode it use. Then we can set the mode here. We need to set all these all these options according to that AES uh, AES encrypt. For example, this uh, key size and the chaining mode and the padding mode we need to set them the same as those used by the AES script used by this uh, software then we can decrypt it so it's a lot of work you are not required to do that alright this is a lab